I want to say why I think the Jets should be nervous. Shady, I was thinking about this. We have all assumed the Jets are going to land Aaron Rodgers, but that assumption is dangerous. Reason being, it was 2015. I'm on the Eagles. We had just traded LaShawn McCoy. So now it's 2015. The quarterback that was going to be drafted early, Heisman winner Marcus Mariota. Chip Kelly had coached Marcus Mariota. We, as the Eagles, wanted to trade for Marcus Mariota. So we did what the Jets were doing. We prepared to trade for Marcus Mariota. What are the Jets doing? They acquired Alan Lazard. What are the Jets doing? Maybe coincidence, but uh, Nathaniel Hackett is now in the building. Mm -hmm. What are the Jets doing? Maybe it's coincidence, but they're acquiring players that they know Aaron Rodgers would want to play with. What did we, the Eagles, do? We traded Nick Foles and a second round pick and a fourth round pick for Sam Bradford. Why Sam Bradford? Because the Titans needed a quarterback. So we were like, okay, Titans, y'all are drafting number two behind the Bucks. Bucks were going to take Jameis Winston. But what were the Titans going to do? Are they going to take Mariota? You don't need to take Mariota. Chip said to himself, if we can get Bradford, we will trade Bradford for Marcus Mariota. Well, what happened on draft day? Titans didn't make the trade. We tried to trade, the Eagles tried to trade Sam Bradford, Michael Kendricks, Fletcher Cox, Brandon yeah, Boykin, and like a first yes. round pick, all for Marcus Mariota, and they said no. Hmm. Next thing you know, Chip gets fired because Sam Bradford was not who was supposed to lead that offense. The reason I tell you all this story, Jets fans, it's not done until it's done. So you can think you're acquiring all you want. You traded Elijah Moore for a second round pick. Congratulations. But until Aaron Rodgers is in that building, it is not done. And I have just sat in the seats where I'm like, oh, surely Mariota will be here. Surely Aaron Rodgers is going to be here. But, Joy, I don't think it's done until it's done. That's why the Jets should be worried, just based on my experience. But what say you? Well, I mean, you have the, the, the Green Bay side of this as well. Like, Green Bay's done a lot. A lot has happened. Aaron said a lot. The Jets have said a lot. Meetings have happened. We're talking about moving forward with Jordan Love. Too much has happened, right? Too many words have been said that can't be taken back <laughs> in this situation for him to not end up leaving Green Bay. And he's saying he wants to go to the Jets. So I think this is going to get done. That's why they're saying they're not hyperventilating, but that's, you know, that's a big word to even be throwing out mm -hmm. there. So what I think they're nervous about or should be nervous about is giving up more than they wanted to give up to give mm. Aaron Rodgers because I believe that's what the holdup is. The Packers don't want to give Aaron away from, for nothing as they shouldn't, because they get pushed around all the time. Yes. So if they're going to stand up to anybody, it might as well be another team that's taking away their future Hall of Fame quarterback and, and forcing them essentially into transitioning into Jordan Love. Whether they want to do it or not, who knows? We'll find out in a book series or, you know, a, a streaming service series later on in life. That will, that's how we'll find out. But that's what I think is happening here, and that's what the holdup is. That said, also, little note, give the Packers what they want. You're already going to be in a short-term situation with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is not a long-term solution. What are you holding on to draft picks for? You're, you're going all in if you're bringing in Aaron Rodgers in anyway. So the, 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 the game that these, these teams try to play, we're like, we're going to bring in this guy who's got like two, three years left, maybe three years on the long ends, but we're going to hold on to the future. Like, pick a hustle because you, you're trying to play this game and you could end up with nothing. With nothing. Would you be surprised? If another team ended up with Aaron Rodgers, meaning I think the Colts draft after the Texans and clearly they draft after the Panthers. We know C.J. Stroud. We know Bryce, uh, Bryce Young. So the Colts draft fourth. The top two quarterbacks, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, will likely be gone. Yeah. Would you be shocked if somehow the Colts, either on draft day, maybe that Saturday after the first round and, and the second, third round, would you be shocked if the Colts ended up making a move if they couldn't get the guys they wanted? Like, I don't know that the Jets should feel safe. I mean, if Aaron has said he's playing for the Jets, and that's Aaron has a little bit of leverage in this space. Like, he can just retire. Which would know? benefit the Packers. Sure. But if you're, like, he wants to go play for the Jets. So that's where Aaron's going to play. That's the only thing that would give me some comfort if I'm in, in yeah, New York. That, that one makes sense for, for the Colts. They're trying to build their, their franchise. Yeah. Aaron has, what, two, three more years left at the most? This is my whole thing with the whole breakdown, right, of Aaron Rodgers trying to go to the Jets and vice versa with the, with the Packers. The, the Jets will get the most value, or they will give the most for Aaron Rodgers because the deal is already done, right? Like, like we both want this to work. The Jets, we want Aaron Rodgers, the Packers, you want to give him up. And we kind of worked it out already. So for another team to come in there and offer you so much, it, it's unlikely, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's, it's really, the deal is really done. I think they're just trying to figure it out. Um, what exactly does the Jets willing to give, you know? And I think that the Packers, you keep talking about the Jets, but the Packers need to not get too crazy and 
overboard, right? Try to ask too much because you already got a deal in place. You don't want to lose that. What would be the Jets' motivation to increase their price at this point in time? And what would be the Packers' motivation I mean, to decrease their asking prices? But, Nothing has changed. Nothing roster-wise will change until, I believe, April 27th is yeah. the first round of the draft. So ain't nothing going to change for it's another... No rush. Yeah, so it's no, it's no rush. But my, this is my thing. Like, the deal is already done, right? So I, I feel like when... when a team is waiting to get a player that they know they pretty much got, and, and the team that's giving him up, they pretty much know they're going to give Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. Why would you try to, why would you mess that up, trying to get more out of a team that's already a, a, a done deal? Where if another team come in, it's, now you got to do the whole thing all over again. What do you want for him, et cetera, et cetera. So the deal's already done, right? They, they, I think the Packers have been, they've been good with trying to um, meet all the demands that Aaron Rodgers wants. You know, he's out the door, man. Let's let him move on. You asked why should the Jets be compelled to do this? Well, the Sacramento Kings just made the playoffs. They are no longer the team with the longest playoff drought in sports, current, currently in sports. You know who are? That would be your New York Jets. So if they believe, as Shady believes, that Aaron Rodgers is the Pied Piper that is going to lead them to the promised land in the postseason, they, are, they should be more motivated than ever to get this done. The reason they should not be worried is because, to Shady's point, I don't know that the deal is done, but they're so far down the road. There's so much momentum. And the Green Bay Packers have made it clear, if the reports are accurate, what it takes to get the deal done. The Jets know that if they give up a first round pick, they can get Aaron Rodgers. So there's not the uncertainty of the Marietta uh, situation. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like, we know what it's gonna take, we want to avoid doing that. We want to find if we can massage it in a different direction. But ultimately, they can get but this But Slick, done. don't you think the reason I wouldn't want to give up a first for Aaron Rodgers is because if I had that first, I could potentially maneuver that to draft a quarterback who I could keep for cheap for four or five years as opposed to a disgruntled quarterback sure. who didn't even make the playoffs last year for $50 million. Okay, but that's why you met with Aaron Rodgers, and that's why you decided to go in on him. I mean... You don't go halfway with Aaron Rodgers. Thank you. you don't get Aaron Rodgers by going halfway. You got to decide this is the guy that's going to change our fortunes. We're ready to win now. Is he worth the and first round the pick? He is to the New York Jets if that's what it takes. Well, clearly At he's not because they haven't no. done it yet. No, I'm not a first rounder. They're, play, they're playing. They're playing both sides of this. Are you planning for the future, or are you trying to go all in and take advantage of the roster that you have now with competent quarterback play? You can't have it both ways. The Packers don't need to give up Aaron Rodgers. They don't. <laughs> don't. They do not need to give up Aaron Rodgers. So that's why they're waiting. They can sit there and be like, we want a first round pick. Don't so want to give it. So, so, okay, Who's so. playing quarterback for the New York Jets? The Packers have two quarterbacks. Yeah. You have no quarterback. So what, what, is, what, do, what leg do you have to stand on if you're the New York Jets to be talking about the future? It's just, it doesn't make sense. Go all in. Don't be hoarding, hoarding draft picks. So, so, but, but let, let's it doesn't say, make sense. Let's say they don't give up the first rounder, right? And then you got Aaron Rodgers comes back where, where you already kind of basically alluded to uh, Love being the quarterback going forward. So then what happens? You got Aaron Rodgers and you got Love. It's, then what happens? It's still in the dilemma. Like the Packers are in a dilemma. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Think about the, how the team's going to look. It's like, yo, we dysfunctional. You said he was going, now he's not going. Now we got two quarterbacks. But that's he started, still a not... better situation right. than the Jets would exactly. be in. Exactly. I hear exactly. it, but, but it's pressure. It's, I feel like, to me, it's more pressure on the Packers. You're going to have a $50 million quarterback. Think about it. You're going to have a $50 million quarterback in Japan, right? Not playing. You have Jordan Love playing the quarterback. Like, that's a lot. Who does that? I've never seen that before. No one does, but that's still a better situation than the Jets with no quarterback. That's just going. It's just. It's both dysfunctional. It's not. Now one dude plays have a bad game. Yo. Yeah, but are, are y'all gonna put your Aaron in? If it's not the <laughs> you Jets, you If it's not the Jets, do you, uh, you? I can find a home for Aaron Rodgers. Are you telling me that if the Jets bailed, that there would be nobody else that would be interested in I, Aaron? I don't. I, I seriously don't think that no team would go out there and give a first rounder for Aaron Rodgers. Okay, but that's not, not what I'm really, saying. Not, that's not, what I'm not, saying. not because he's not good enough. It's just that yo, he's older. He always talks about retirement. It don't make sense. Soon you talk about retirement as a yeah. player. Okay, you know how that is. Right. Why so, are you even talking about Aaron Rodgers you. then? Thank you. Aaron Rodgers is not a long term solution. Aaron Rodgers is, and I don't think he is this, but this is the mentality. Brady comes in, he's got two, three years left. 
We have a roster that's capable of making it somewhere, but we don't have a quarterback that's capable of getting us there. That's the mentality. Now, I don't think that's it, and I don't think that's how this is going to work, but that's the mentality of a team that's in this situation. Otherwise, why would the Jets have picked up the phone? Bring, I'd like to talk to Aaron, please. Doesn't make sense. Like, yes. you're, you're, in the, you're in the business of right now, not the future. That is the true. Jets. And the Jets flew out to come see him. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.